Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we are doing another play with me. This play with me is long overdue. I'm finally sitting down to do the voiceover, um, but the kit I'm using is a, a Winter Wonderland kit from Crust Press. This kit I've been hoarding and I decided to just use it. <laughs> I'm trying to use my kits in foil because I am such a hoarder. It's just awful and then I feel so guilty about hoarding afterwards it's just bad but I'm using a, the leftover snowflake uh what am I saying I'm using the leftover snowflake bundle that I have from Scribble Prince Co also an old format wiggle that she has that's like a taupey color I have some add-ons from uh the giving girl as well so my dangly pieces that I'm trying to incorporate as well I am filming this voiceover for the second time. It's not that bad since it's just the second time, but at the same time, I am a little out of breath because I also filmed my new releases earlier for my May budget kits and also something new coming to the shop. The May budget kits should be going up this day or should have already went up. And then the second video for the new releases going up should be for tomorrow and i'm so excited for that video i used up so much energy because oh my god i cannot wait i cannot wait i cannot wait but i'm trying to just calm down so for what i'm doing right now is for that 15 millimeter strip i ended up doing like this like wavy pattern with the snowflakes because like i didn't really have any overlays for it and i wanted to use that snowflake color or silver color with a snowflake style and I think it turned out really cute though I think I did mess it up towards the end of the video because I tried to put dangles over it and I think it just turned out really awkward but we'll get there when we get there but yeah so I'm filming this voiceover again because I thought that this was a different week and I was just talking about the week following this video and it just I was just in the wrong week so I had to refilm this and just to make sure I'm flipping to the 30th to the 5th what am I Oh, did I mention that? I am filming this video from the 30th to the 5th, uh, 30th of January to the 5th of February, and nothing much really happened this week. Any highlights? No highlights really, but we will talk about it day by day. So, yeah, I feel like if there was something else that I talked about too, but I couldn't really talk about it because... Or I, I can't remember because that was like so long ago <laughs> because I ended up having to scratch the whole voiceover. But yeah, so for this kit, I like absolutely love the colors. So I was trying to hoard it for a bit of time, like, but I, d I don't regret laying it down. But I think it's just something about like having the kit in my hand. I just love like flipping through my kits. Like, I don't know if that's just like a me thing, but like, I just something about just flipping through my kits I just love this one doesn't have bougie boxes though so it's, it was kind of a longer video because I did have to put like those little what are they called half of headers <laughs> down in between each each box so there's kind of like that bougie box effect in the back but yeah this is like the second week that I have to do this I think there's like another week that I had to, I had to do this as well but that's coming up in the future video because I did lay down all the bases for like the next like few weeks I just have to go and like actually lay down the stickers for those weeks I'm a little behind work has been busy guys work's been busy for sure I feel like there's been outages non-stop I feel like I'm losing my mind but oh for this video I also ended up messing up one of the boxes the the extender boxes at the top <laughs> it was actually a pretty bad mess up I guess I forgot which side the extender sticky part is supposed to go so I put it on the wrong side so the, the part that I stuck onto the paper wasn't even sticky so I ended up having to put some tape and fold it up and put it behind it and then I had to put a heavy book on top of it for it to lay down and stay there but besides that everything else turned out amazing and it ended up working out great so for it whether or not it'll last a long period of time I don't know so we'll just have to find out but in the end this kit turned out amazing so we are doing this base lay down I'm gonna forward this real quick because uh yes so I have it on like 400 speed right now because I felt like if I went higher it kind of just looks like a blur <laughs> I don't even remember what I talked about in this voiceover that I didn't talk about the last voiceover. There could be things that I thought I talked about in this voiceover when, I, when I'm redoing it, but I didn't. So I don't even know. But I, my head is sticking out at some points in this, so I do apologize. And don't mind that it's also kind of like balding. 
<laughs> because I'm in pre postpart I'm in what? I'm in postpartum and I'm losing so much hair by like the handfuls. It's horrible. My shower used to be so relaxing. But now it's just stressful because my hair, I'm just saying bye. It's just a funeral every time I go and take a shower and it is what it is. So hopefully this doesn't last for too long because I just I just I just I just I hope it just doesn't last for too long. So that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. So if you keep seeing my head poke through, I do apologize because I did have to adjust like the camera height for this because like I'm so blind that every time I go and lay down like a header or like a what is it, an overlay and stuff, I have to stick my head up close, but how I had the camera set up before, it would keep smacking my face, so I had to move it up because I just, it would just be easier for me to film, though I don't really know if it affects the quality or not, I always film with my cell phone, if you guys didn't know, I film with my cell phone because cameras are freaking expensive, and I wouldn't be using a camera for anything else other than to film these videos, oh look, this is where I messed up, huh see that extender was supposed to be backwards but i put it the wrong way so it was a little it was already too late and i technically could have tried to rip it back up but like i just i don't know sometimes you when you get past a certain point you're just like f it just go with it and <laughs> just kind of like make do with what is going to happen so i didn't have an additional box to put on that side that's kind of why i put one of the overlay boxes here and i'm putting some deco to decorate it and I ended up putting the week February in here too because I always put the month because this is a uh, uh, undated. So I want to make sure I put like what month I'm in just in case I miss weeks and stuff too. So like I'm not all like confused as to what month it's supposed to be in. Every time I go to film these voiceovers, the video is always at like an hour and like between an hour to an hour and 15 minutes long. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that mess up. But <laughs> I always have to like cut down like portions that don't matter in here because I don't pre-choose all of my stickers. I always like choose it as I go out throughout each day. So that's like additional time that I just cut out. I mean, it could come off as like tedious, but I actually don't mind it as much. I prefer to do that versus like choosing everything in advance because I tend to forget what I chose a specific sticker for. So yeah <laughs> and i also like showing these sheets on camera anyway so that's kind of what ends up happening so right now i'm just mixing up the foil i'm mixing up the snowflake foil along with that topi like the whimsical bow ah that's what that foil is called the whimsical bow i believe but i'm missing mixing up all the foil and the overlay boxes i think the overlay i ended up doing a lot of the silver because the whimsical bow overlay boxes they all look the same and I realized that I have to like pay attention when I do these voiceovers to just watch to make sure like I don't have too much kind of just staring at the screen time just so I can just find extra time to just cut out. But yeah, I really like that girl too, that that box in the center. I really like that girl. In that scene, overall this kit is just vibes. I like, I love like the muted colors and how the colors look. It just, it's really nice. Oh yeah, that's right. I put out a script from, not a script, what is it called? A munchkin from Once More With Love that says hang in there. That is right. This was a poopy week overall. I think it was like had to do with like, what was it regarding? Was it for work or was it for my brain? Hold on. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it had to do with work, 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 me, mama. Ooh, my stomach's growling. I'm getting hungry oh yes this was with work this was with actually everything work was really busy and then also with like life was really busy and like bean was like a little difficult too so i was just kind of like having it this week i also scattered the deco at the top but i ended up cutting out some footage because it went out of view and i didn't notice so that's kind of why like some of it's missing but um i do what i usually do for bigger pieces i just cut it in half or diagonal or something and i put one half on one side and the other half on the other side since i don't really like like to put it and then cut it all off i don't know it's just like a personal thing that i do and then for crest press since the headers are thinner i do layer those over the deco i think for screw reference co i layer the headers under the deco but that's kind of what I do, and I have these, like, I don't know if they're, like, quarter thingies, I don't really know what they are, but they're from Scroll Prince Co., 
and I just used the, I hope that's silver, it's either silver or white, but I used those to kind of just like detail the corner of the date headers. That's kind of what I did the previous week as well, and I really enjoyed it. But now, moving on to the day by day, which I think I should have just been doing. On Monday, the first thing that I marked was training. I actually don't really remember too much about this. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, there was, a, <laughs> there was a lot of training for this week. And when I'm training, like, it's it's hard because we have our, our baby at home. So, like, I, I'm very lucky to be able to, when I'm not training or when it's not really busy, when it's, like, chiller, I'm able to kind of, like, have Beanie in my lap and stuff while I work. But when I'm training and stuff, of course, it's very unprofessional to have her in my lap while I'm on webcam. So, it's just different. So, I use a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. Then for, um, I posted a YouTube video. I usually don't really mark that in here. I usually mark that in kind of like my day-to-day -day planner when I have to like, I don't know. It's, I guess I put it in here because like I was slacking on videos. So I did want to mark that I was able to put up a YouTube video and I used a icon from, I think it was pretty in pink code to mark that. I did end up using, um, what are they? Like two little pattern headers to kind of make it into a box for this day too like I'm doing right here because like I I'm a really big fan of like different size boxes especially because like I use so many little things and it's just it's nice to have different size boxes to fit where I need it to fit but yeah so uh what was the next thing that I was doing? Oh, yes. So <laughs> did I already say that I was, the next thing I marked was, I don't even remember where I left off. Oh my gosh. It's, but basically I print and cut this day too. So I used a paper and milk little silhouette to mark that. It was really busy this day. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emote to mark that it was busy AF because like Mondays usually are not like, they don't feel like your typical crazy, crazy Mondays. But this day felt like a crazy Monday. Like I literally... Uh, horrible Monday, horrible Monday. So that was uh, for the first section. The second section is I had like a lot of cuddles with Bean. I mean, I always cuddle her. We always cuddle, but like so there's some times where it's just like a real cuddle. It's just like oh, so much love and warmth and affection. It's just like, it's just overwhelmingly just makes me cry and just be so happy. Like it's just unreal. Those crazy sweet sweet cuddles I like to mark in here but again we cuddle all the time okay all the time but I used a munchkin from what's more of love to mark the bean snuggles then we dropped off orders so I wanted to use a dymo label printer to from uh what is it called from screw over prints code to mark that too I don't have a label printer I kind of just print it off on sticker paper I should invest in one but like right now I I think I just I spend too much. Like I just buy designs. I buy. I just. I. I, I, I like. I, I, it's not that I don't invest in back into my shop. I definitely do, but like I think I just need to make wiser decisions because like this all is a learning process for me. I think I just do too much of like what I have fun with and want to do and create. Okay, I'm going off tangent. What are we talking about? The next thing after that is I use a munchkin from West of Love to mark that we relax afterwards, and then a paper shire bun cuddling together to mark that I passed out. I passed out that day. I usually have trouble sleeping, so I was very surprised. Then the following day for Tuesday, um, my husband called off because he did have like a huge headache. So I used a um, What's More With Love munchkin to mark that with like the needle in the head. It was really funny. The, the funny thing is for this day too, um, you guys will probably notice, like I forgot that there was an extender this day. So like the little flap, I guess I just didn't see it. And then like I got messed up with all the equations for the different boxes because I was just so used to just using two boxes and not like having extenders. So I had to like move things around a bunch in order to kind of get the look that I wanted. But yeah, Why am I, like, forgetting what I was talking about? I keep having to pause my voiceover so I can go and, like, snip out pieces, pieces that I need to snip out and then continue the video because if I don't, I'll forget what exactly I wanted to edit. So that's kind of, like, but I keep losing my trail, train of thought because, like, I am ready for sleep, but I want to get this 
complete it because I've been meaning to finish this voiceover for like two weeks now and I'm behind on all my plan with me's so I have three more that I need to finish like planning so I can get those up as well I'm just I'm all over the place but because like I keep prioritizing different things and I'm just like horrible with my time I always wanted to be really good at being like multitasking and like you know the the really good productive person but I'm just not a very very good productive person if anything i'm a huge procrastinator it's just quite unfortunate i just really hope that our kids do not grow up like that because it's just like i do everything last minute and that's just not the way that i want to be but uh, what else was this day so for tuesday kit kats yeah we got a bunch more kit kats i think i talked about kit kats last week as well but we got a bunch of kit kats and it was just great i just love the kit kats because I used, I just, oh my god, I ate too many Kit Kats though, because like the last bag that we got, I couldn't even finish it, it's still sitting downstairs, because we just kept binging on Kit Kats, but I used the munchkin to mark that as well, then we watched Physical 100 on TV, which is like, it was pretty interesting, I, I actually liked it, I don't mind for the next one to come out, um, next one after that was Happy Meal, I got my Crest Press Mystery for the month of March, yeah, it's like, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, it's definitely not what I was expecting, but it's still really cute. I'm one that is like, it's hard not to be pleased, like, because my tastes vary quite a bit, so like, it has to be something that's really out of my taste for me to dislike it, but like, I usually like everything. Yes, so after that, I marked, oh wait a second, the Happy Mail Munch Maru, and that's from Paper and Milk. Then after that, I marked that we trimmed, just kidding, we, tr uh, Beanie tried cucumber this day, and she was so stinking cute, so I used a munchkin from What's More of Love to mark that she tried cucumber. She, like, at first she tasted, she's like, what is this feeling, and she just started nomming on it, <laughs> she's so cute. So she didn't really swallow anything, like, per se, but she did, like, eat some by, like, you know, nomming on it. So, besides that, we watched Singles Inferno, and I used a, a TV icon. This is from the foil bundle, and I I think you guys might see, because the Singles Inferno had, like, that little icon on it, I used, like, a piece a, of sticker or paper or something, and I kind of blocked it out on the back of it so you couldn't see the icon sticking through. So, after that, I put that we knocked out again, which is very surprising. I always mark when I knock out because I just have difficulty sleeping. I used a bun from Paper Shower to mark that. Then I was awake again, and I used another bun to mark that. I was up again, and then I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I don't remember what time I ended up sleeping at. I shouldn't put it in here, but usually if I can't sleep, it's usually I don't sleep until like 2 or 3 a.m. And I used a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that with the dark eyes. My tummy hurt so much this day, too. I had no idea what it ate. Moving on to Wednesday. This is also later in the day, so if I sound different, I had to stop so I can go um, and eat and stuff. Anyway, so for this day, I used a little coffee cup, or is it a teacup? This is from Paper Bits Co. to mark, hello, February, because it was February already. And then... I did use a little munchkin for once more with love to mark that I spread the Kit Kats because this was when I was buying a bunch of Kit Kats and I bought a bunch to kind of like pass it around to different family members and friends and everything because I wanted them to try all the little mini Kit Kat flavors. Um, for sure, milk tea, milk tea, milk tea and strawberry are our favorite flavors. After that, we used a little uh, car from... Hello Petite Paper to mark that we went to Dustin's aunt's place. And then I also did wash my hair this day. So I used a munchkin to mark the little hair wash. And I had a meeting this day. Wednesdays we have meetings where I have to go on webcam and stuff. So I used a little foiled silver icon from Paper Bow Designs, which is unfortunately closed now. And to mark meeting time, then I went to our friend's house and I used a teacup from the foil bundle kit to mark that. 
last but not least for the rest of the night we wa we binge watched the episodes that we missed of the last of us and i used a munchkin from once more with love to mark that um, the last of us going up to like this day today there's the last three episodes that we have to watch but like one of my colleagues watched all of them, right? And he really wants us to watch it because apparently it's, like, so good. Where I left off was... Well, I don't know if you guys are watching it, so let me not do any spoilers. But, like, I like it, but it's, like, a slow burner. But it kind of is annoying because it's a slow burner. But then, like, towards the end of the episode, that's when it, everything picks up. And then it leaves you on a cliffhanger. And I'm just, like, I'm horrible with cliffhangers. So that's kind of why we're waiting for it so I can just binge everything because I'm just absolutely horrible with cliffhangers. It's kind of like when we watch episodes of anything, I always like, like, I just like to pause it in the middle of the episode because once it gets to the cliffhanger, I just keep watching. But okay, anyway, <laughs> that doesn't quite matter right now. But let me just move on to thursday so for thursday i was in my feelings this day i think in the mo whole month of january i was just in my feelings quite a lot like i was just feeling down a lot and everything so i used a munchkin from once more with love to mark that i was in my feelings and i have a in my feelings script from scroll friends co to mark that too oh and i also forgot on the sidebar um, I did use a Once More With Love munchkin, like cuddling a baby, to mark, what did I mark? Oh, I marked that Beanie switched into size 2 diapers. Oh my god, she's like growing so fast. I don't, we have so many size 2 diapers, I don't even know if she'll be able to finish the boxes. But luckily, since we got them from Costco, you're able to like return them if like you don't use them up. So that's really nice. So whatever boxes she doesn't end up using, we can just exchange out for the next size that we need. But anyway, going back to Thursday, I, was there something else I wanted to say? Oh, that's right. I don't think I ever mentioned at the very, very beginning of this, but for the ombre heart checklist and the ombre weekly checklist for this kid i did cut them up you guys probably already noticed by now but that's kind of where i get some of the different size labels is i cut it up just so i can have more little things and more smaller boxes since i do have a tendency of having like eight to ten things per day usually so i don't really use that many larger boxes but anyway so yeah so the next thing after that i don't know where I left off actually but I think it was regarding um the second one for Bean's tummy time I did use a once more with love little happy cute little um, munchkin to mark that she had a really cute tummy time I mean we always do tummy time with her but like for this day I believe she started really just like hanging out looking at you lifting her head up like wiggling around <laughs> it was so stinking cute I know like my plan with me's has a lot of like our baby in there but Anyway, so yeah, the next thing after that was um, I used a Happy Daya little panda sticker with like the crying little baby panda because that was her. She was being like a crazy little monster afterwards. So I just put mood to mark that because she was definitely in the mood. After that, I used a emote from a Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that my husband had his meeting at nighttime. And he was definitely stressed about it. So that's why that emote looks like they stayed up all night. <laughs> After that, I have a little paper shower bun to mark that I was stressed because this week was a rough week. So I was just stressed overall. So that's where that came in. And then I have another paper shower bun crying in a puddle to mark that everything was really hard to juggle. I was just feeling really overwhelmed at this point. But we're, we won't talk about those things. We're going to talk about the good things. So after that, I had a better sleep, probably from the stress. So I had a better sleep and I used the munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that as well. Now, going on to Friday. For Friday, I had training again like all day long. So I did use a little, I think that computer was from the kit, the foil bundle to mark that then i used the happy dia the three bears to mark that we went to a family outing we went to lancaster market because i really had to get out of the house because i felt like i was losing my mind because i was just it was just not the best for me mentally so i just wanted to get out of the house so we went there then we got like wings and mac and cheese the macaroni salad i keep calling it mac and cheese it's not mac and cheese it's macaroni salad and it was so good it's always so good from there then we went to his aunt's house as well right after that so i used a uh, car from paper and milk 
to mark that we went over there i think we brought like food over too like we just wanted like a little change of pace and also i didn't say where i got those chicken drumsticks from just things why can i like not talk right now but i got the chicken drumsticks from um that one is from a sheet from scroll prince co so moving onward what does that say oh <laughs> i have a munchkin from once more with love that says mom life because i wrote bean versus mama me because she was just it was me and her just battling it out because i felt like we were just like butting heads all day like of course my little baby was like five months old at this time <laughs> but i just felt like we were just not communicating <laughs> we we're just not communicating so that is what i marked for this day and of course when she's being a little terror it just stresses me out even further so besides that i got my okay plans planner which is actually this current planner that i am using and i use a mail icon from my shop to mark that i got that this planner i cannot wait to see what it looks like after it's all filled up with all the stickers from all of the weeks because i can see this thing filling up and getting chunky because there's definitely a lot of room to grow in this which is nice so i can use all of the extenders i can I, that i want and if I have the boxes, I would definitely use extenders because I just love extenders. But yeah, so moving on, I think like, was this the day that I was struggling getting like boxes and finding labels? I don't remember, but there was definitely a day that I was having trouble like getting all the different label sizes because like, of course, I always have like eight to 10 items. So like I was running out of like the smaller labels. So I started using like headers and stuff for it, like label headers and everything. But anyway, besides that, I used a little foil, little icon from the foil bundle to mark that it was a cleaning day. So we did clean. I usually always like, we do clean every day, but the days that we do like more of like a deep clean or like a, I don't know, like spending more time cleaning, I like to mark it. And then we also had TV time. I don't remember what we watched. I usually write what we watched, but I guess I didn't this time around. And that icon is from Scribble Prince Co. as well. And then, of course, last but not least, I used a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I was with my husband. And we probably just hung out the rest of the night. But I'm trying to use up some of these scripts because I went a little crazy buying all these scripts too. But, you know. Now we move on. Now we move on to Saturday and you guys probably have noticed by now that I do cut out a lot of like the writing bits because like I feel like it takes up like time from the video and I don't know. I don't know if you guys actually want to watch that or not, especially because you can't really see what I'm writing because my hand is in the way. So I do cut that out, especially because like it makes the video a lot longer and I, I much prefer for these videos to be shorter since I do talk the whole entire time. But for Saturday, I think I was struggling with boxes again this day too. I love Crest Press kits, but I do think I need to start getting the ones with the little things because I use so many little things. But to start off with, I used a little cute munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that bean was officially size 2 and this was on Saturday. So we... We used up all of her size one diaper. She actually finished all the boxes, so we didn't. Oh, just that's that's just kidding. We had one unopened box of size one, so we did end up, end up returning them to Costco. But being one size two, I used a foiled fork and knife icon from the foil kit to mark that we had French toast this day. I used a foiled script from Scribble Prince Co. to mark that we also had family cuddles, and I used a paper and milk napping little icon munchkin not munchkin marshmallow to mark that we had a family cuddle all of my foiled scripts are for the most part from either crest press or scribble prints go i don't think i have foiled scripts i do i do i but it's very seldom i don't really have that many so um Besides that, I have another script from Scribble Prince Code to mark that I was in my feelings, and I have a foiled heart to mark that as well. I've been in my feelings quite often this week. I know I, like, said that a lot, but, like, I honestly was in my feelings a lot. Like, just, it was a roller coaster of emotions this whole entire week. So, family outing. Aha, uh -huh, we had another family outing. I forgot to put the T on my, the cross, or the 
thing on my tea. Okay, so we had another family outing this day, so I used a shopping bag to mark that. That shopping bag is from the kit as well. And then I used a nail polish, because I don't have any, like, nail clips, so I used nail polish from, um, Crafts by Tally to mark that I trimmed my nails because like I trim my nails I like to like mark it every now and then and I don't really have anything else to mark it besides nail polish but I don't really paint my nails I used to paint my toenails very often but I haven't even really been painting my toenails either so yeah I haven't really been taking care of my nails at all <laughs> except for cutting them down to like the nub you guys are probably looking at my nails now because <laughs> I'm looking at my nails now but anyway besides that I used a I think that was like a little play pen jungle gym from Cross My Tally as well to mark that baby was very fussy. And I put TT because like I was crying. So like, you know, the T's are the eyes and the the long part of the T's is like the tears coming out of the Okay, never mind. <laughs> but besides that, I put that it was really hot, so I use a foiled sun from Goddess Planning Shop to mark that it was really hot. It was so hot. I was burning. I, like, felt the need to, like, strip off everything, including my skin, because it was just very hot. It was so hot. Besides that, that was really it for this day. And I'm moving on to Sunday. Sunday's the last day. I think at this rate, like, usually by the end of these plan with me's, when I, I, I usually can only do, like, one at a time for these. Like, the bases, I can do, like, five at a time. But I feel like because, like, you're planning out the day strategically, it just, like, takes more out of me for doing these. So by fun, by Sunday, I'm pretty much good. So I can do one of these a day. But anyway, besides the point, I used a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I was feeling bloated. I was actually extremely bloated. Not just feeling bloated, I was bloated. Very bloated. But that was that... So chubby munchkin was really cute, actually. I really want to start using that munchkin more often. All of my stickers I need to start incorporating more often. What am I saying? But after that, I used a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I had a nosebleed. I do not get nosebleeds, so I had a nosebleed. I didn't just get a nosebleed once. I got a nosebleed a couple times this day. So it was very odd. I, It was just weird. I just don't get nosebleeds, but that munchkin is from Once More With Love. Same with the one in the third box, which is like a like a, a munchkin thrown a fit because I put that I was still moody. Like, it was getting to the point that it was ridiculous. Like, I just wanted to be happy. I just wanted my feelings to be at a high already. I was just in a mood again, and I just started to get super sick of it. So... The rest of the day, I did have a filming time day. So that camera is from Paper and Bow Designs. And it is a foiled camera. And then Baby was very needy this day too. I love when she's needy, but sometimes when I need to get stuff done, it's just like, I wish I could just like glue you onto me. And so I don't have to like actually use my arms to like cuddle you close. Yes, there's like carriers and baby wearers and stuff. But like, I feel like those like put her, like I can't really squish her head down. You know what I mean? So like her head is like in the way while I'm trying to film because <laughs> she's so big now so she doesn't really just fit in a little pouch in my in like in the middle of my chest so um what else was to say so yeah she was very needy so I used a stuffy from Crafts by Towie to mark that then hmm I used a chicken leg from uh the foil kit but what does I even say oh I got chicken teriyaki <laughs> that's what I got. I got, we got chicken teriyaki from the mall. I don't know what it is about mall chicken teriyaki. It's just really good to me. Then to wrap up the day, I put a little boop munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I was, we were trolling each other. I forgot what we were doing, but we were definitely trolling each other. We troll each other all the time, but like for this day, it was like a very excessive, <laughs> but it's always fun. It's always in good fun. Now, the week is finally over, and you guys can probably see me trying to attempt to use these The Giving Girl dangles. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to use these. I probably should have watched some videos on how to use them. So, I was just trying to, like, put them all around to see, like, where it can go that it won't block certain scripts or, like, yeah, I just, I don't know what I was doing. So, I ended up putting them at the bottom. <laughs> and tried to connect them so they could look like they were like flowing together 
at the bottom i don't know if it looks as bad on camera but in person it doesn't look as like clean so like i don't really know how i feel about it i don't think i would do it again or if i do i think i would do those dangles first and then put the snowflakes like over it like around it i think that would probably look a lot more appealing but it was a little too late so i couldn't just not do it anymore so like it's it's kind of done at this point but that's kind of what i ended up doing as like the final touches is just put those little dangly pieces and then of course i do the flip through of all the remaining stickers that i still have from the kits and uh, this is how the kit turned out and i think it is gorgeous so that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much as always for tuning in and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!